The transfer and replication of practices within a firm is an important and challenging task for many firms. Yet, successful replication is especially important for chain businesses where economies of scale are critical to the business model. Anecdotally, we know that many chains try some version of using a template, that is, a working example, to implement new practices. These templates may be created or may already exist within the firm. Those units learning the new practice, the replicating units, look to the template to see the new practice in action before implementing it themselves. Prior research has shown that the use of templates is associated with higher adoption rate and better long-term performance for new practices, but has not examined exactly how templates affect performance during their implementation phase of these new practices. That is, during the phase where employees of these units are still learning the new practice. My research examines exactly this process. How do templates facilitate learning new practices within firms? Further, how do specific relationships between the template unit and each other replicating unit affect the extent to which these other units learn from their own versus the template's experience? In this study, I look at the effect of templates on the learning process of units implementing a new restocking practice in a Fortune 100 retailer. I examine the use of a template to model a new way of restocking physical goods within a large retail store and measure the extent to which a store's learning of the practice is affected by the attributes of the template store to which it is matched. The templates themselves are assigned randomly, with one template assigned to each district of stores. I follow the restocking performance and practices to measure how replicating units learn in the presence of their specific template and district. Examining this process of learning a new practice by using a template contributes to our understanding of how replication of ideas and processes occur within a business. I find that stores face a trade-off in learning in the presence of the template. Having the template may help another unit, like a store, learn the new practice, but directing attention toward learning from the template means less effort spent learning from its own prior experience or even learning from another peer unit or team. Ultimately, this means that being assigned to a poorly performing template might actually mean less learning and worse performance in the initial implementation. Further, this study offers insights about templates more broadly, one of which is that templates offer value even when they are still learning the process themselves. This characterization of templates as learning and improving over time stands in contrast to their current characterization in the strategy and learning literature as relatively stable and polished examples of new practices. My research suggests that fewer but stronger templates are more useful for firms transferring practices between units. Designating only one template per practice or process may make it hard for management to convince the spectrum of units of the practice's worth, but my results suggest that having many local templates is not necessary.